Hey guys, I hope you all are doing great. So as the title suggests, this video will be all about the tips for 10th graders from my experiences. So let's start. The first tip is start your preparation from now. I'm saying this because if you haven't started your preparations yet, so start now. As it's the right time to start uh, preparing for class 10 board exams. Uh, from the starting of the session itself and also as everyone has a different pace of learning and understanding too uh, so it is difficult to decide when each one of us should start preparing so uh, it is always best to start your preparation as early as possible and there is a saying too the sooner the better the next step which comes is stick with your syllabus book uh, I'm saying this because I have seen a number of people running behind the big heavyweight reference books. Uh, it's great to prepare from different reference sources, but when the board exams are knocking at door, it's important that you uh, become reserved and focus only on your NCRT textbooks. As all the questions in board exams are picked up only from NCRT uh, books. So uh, NCRT is key to success book and it really helps you to score more percentage so you should stick with your ncrt textbooks to score well in the exams uh, the next step which comes for a 10th grader is work on your weak points so after giving pre-boards class test and solving a lot of sample papers uh, you would have an idea of your weak points and your mistakes so uh, start correcting those mistakes and do hard work on your mistakes and take it as a mission to convert those weak points into the stronger ones and surely this uh, would help you in completing your desired score in boards. The next step for a 10th grader is time management. Uh, time management plays a very important role for the board exam preparation. Uh, without a proper timetable, studying will not benefit you much. Uh, it will end up creating too much confusion. So for a good preparation, you must prepare a timetable depending on your weak and strong portions of the syllabus. And make sure that you stick to your timetable and follow it consistently. The next tip is don't take English easily. I am saying this because subjects like English can be used in making a high percentage in board exam. All you need to do is to study English at least a day in a week and surely this can increase your percentage in board exam. So just give more attention to handwriting also while preparing for English because English is all about presentation, presenting your answer in a good way. The next tip for a 10th grader is quality over quantity. Basically, the quantity of time is less important than the quality of your study because there you don't need to focus on various things. Uh, just you need to focus on a single thing. Uh, quality over quantity means that you save more time since you focus on the few important things instead of everything. So by doing multitasking, we can't even focus on a particular thing. So don't multitask because multitasking offers you more opportunities to get distracted while studying. The next step is practicing from the sample papers and previous year papers. Uh, this is a very important tip after uh, completing your syllabus. Uh, don't forget to solve the last five years question papers because previous year papers are very important and act as a key to success in getting good percentage in board exam and especially these questions will make you aware of the paper pattern and how the questions are asked in recent years like the level of the question uh, by uh, sample papers you can check your level of preparation for the exam so you can work on your weakness accordingly. The next tip after practicing from the sample paper is uh, stay positive. I am saying this because the journey is not easy. It's full of ups and downs, failures, demotivation, procrastination 
and sometimes uh, feel to quit even. But then just think about why you started. Sometimes we are in the mood to study and sometimes not. So uh, never give up. Always have believe in yourself that you can do. Because by believing uh, you can do it and by believing you deserve it and by believing you will get it. So think positive because a positive mind and attitude go a long way towards success. Next tip is night just before the exam. So uh, take a proper night sleep especially before the exam day to reset your brain so that you can remember things more clearly at the time of exam and do not let your confidence down. Uh, when you find something is still to study, let it be. Do not ruin uh, all other topics just because of that single thing. Just stay calm and relax. Practice writing. As we know, the mode of answering the paper is subjective form. So for that, you have to maintain that flow of uh, writing to complete your exam in the given period of time from the starting of the session itself so that afterwards you will not uh, face any problem. So you should have to maintain that uniform speed of writing throughout the entire period of exam so that you can complete your exam on the given time. The last tip is be consistent. Be consistent in your studies because consistency is the key to success. Consistent hard work leads to success, not occasionally hard work uh, because consistency always leads to excellence, whatever you do in life. So this is the power of consistency. How being consistent can definitely guarantee your success in any field of your life. So at last, I want to say that be self-disciplined, be consistent, be dedicated and be hardworking. By this, you can achieve anything in your life and have believe in yourself that you can make it happen. And by this, you will be unstoppable. Mm -hmm.